Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a very nice trick on Photoshop 2021. And with this trick, you can directly take some rims or tires from the photos and put them into your sketches. Normally, this video is like a little part of my Photoshop course that you can find a link in the description if you want to go more details and if you want to learn more about Photoshop, link is down there. Go check it out. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Berk and I'm a car designer. And here I love to share my experience and knowledge with you. This trick you will watch now is really nice and really time efficient, really time saving trick. I just want to say be careful about which brand's rim you are using on your sketch like recently i shared a post on this one and i used porsche rims on the volkswagen beetle but it has a story because i wanted to combine these two things and i also wrote it down but if you use like a really strong rim design from a brand like strand and if you want to put it on your i don't know volkswagen car sketch it will be a little bit weird people know that this rim is actually from another brand it would look a bit weird so be careful about that and enjoy the video hey guys on this video i'm going to show you how to create your own wheel collection and also create a brush pack with this wheel collection and I will just give it to you with this file so you will be able to import your brushes and use them as different perspective wheels and you can always expand it with your own taste and with different kind of wheels. All right to start to do this you need to go first we need to find some photos I already went to netcarshow.com which is like one of the best websites that you can follow all the upcoming cars and new concepts and everything so here I just checked the last ones and there was like the Subaru BRZ, uh, Infiniti, uh, Ford Puma, Audi, Audi SQ2. So I was just checking those and let's start with Audi maybe. I will just copy the image. You don't need to save anything. We will go to Photoshop and I will just hit Ctrl V so it will paste the image here. And I will hit U and I will hold Shift to create this perfect circle. I'll come here maybe make it a little bit smaller like to grab exactly and it creates this work path you will just make a selection by control enter and I will hit control J and I will delete the previous layer so as you see we have this Audi rim already here hit control T to scale it up a little bit normally this canvas is 4k canvas so we can create a new one I will hit control N to create new and I will say like 1600 to 1600 like a square format and I would actually I will actually use there so I will just pick this rim and I will just paste it here after that I'm gonna add the filter on it filter filter gallery and I will see which one is better for my taste just lowering number of levels like edge simplicity more or less I don't like when it's too glitchy like this is too many little things going on I don't like it I want it a bit more simplistic but of course this is also too much it's not even visible what is it so something in between like this one I feel like if I change the levels to see which levels would be the best maybe the level 7 and one more simplicity or less fidelity is not so important so let's try it I will just hit ok and this might be like one of our rims so I will just hit ctrl L I will increase the contrast a little bit by holding by raising the blacks and the whites and I will hit ctrl U and I will desaturate it totally it will be totally black and white so this way it will be able to fit on any other sketch so after you created this you can pick with M this area on this layer and then you can just go to edit and here define brush preset so you can type here like a rim side or rim audi all depends on your rim side 01 let's say i hit ok so as you see on my brush pack now i have rim side let's just control d and after this you can just turn off this layer you can create a new layer and you can just hit the canvas with it and as you see it's like washed out it's like lower opacity but the layer is 100% opacity and why is that because if you see here my flow is 38% we can make it 100% and I delete it and I created a new layer and when the flow is 100% when I just click with my brush it creates this rim or if it's 38% or something else you can just um, you can just click a couple of times you can hit a couple of times and you can decide how dark you want it so this was the first rim we created now together 
and I can just go to here and pick some different trims from different perspectives like this one also we can just copy image come to Photoshop hit Ctrl V with you you can select this rim here and Ctrl enter to select it Ctrl J to duplicate and delete the previous layer and to make them like similar sizes I will just use the previous one as a reference and I will hit Ctrl T to scale it up something like this I will turn off the previous layer and as we used already the filter previous time you can directly use the shortcut here so rather than going to filter gallery and doing all the settings again you can just hit filter gallery or alt ctrl f and then it will automatically give the same options that you had before so i will go to so i will make ctrl u i will make it desaturated totally and i will hit ctrl l to make the levels more contrast more darkness and more whiteness and then i'm gonna just pick it and here on edit define brush preset maybe you can say rim 60 60 degree so it means like it's like 60 degree rotated car or maybe it's like more 50 or 45 i'm not totally sure like but i will just say 60 degree and hit enter so i will just do ctrl d i will hide the layer i will i will create a new layer and on my brush now you see there are two different brushes so if we use and flow is 38 if I do the flow 100% and if I use this one it's the perspective rim if I want side view rim I can just use the side view rim this is how to use it so let me quickly create some more and then we will create a brush pack and how to export how to import I will show you that quickly with this one with the last one we created 11 different rims I'm gonna create a new layer I will get my rims and flow is 100% and here as you see I also gave them names 1 2 3 4 5 until 11 so if you just want to try it this is rim 1 I'm just doing the brush size a little bit smaller to see them together rim 3 I try to pick like sometimes different angles sometimes different colors different brands it's also important guys um, if you see like totally awkward brand iconic rims on different cars it might be funny but it might be also a little bit might feel mistake so be careful about it and on this last three ones I, I put also the tire inside but it's not super visible so you can always change the filter settings and stuff but these are like a very basic uh, rims that I created quickly as you see so I'm just gonna hide the layer I will go to B we need a layer for that on the brush I will right click I will start from the one and I will hold shift to pick all these rims I will go to this little icon here and I'm gonna say export selected brushes and here you can pick your folder and you can give a name to your collection you can say Rim brushes for example and hit save so now we exported these as a folder so now I will just close this folder this file I will also close this file I will go to right click I will delete those brushes from here so as you see now normally we have only our normal brushes brushes here so how to import your brush wherever you save you can also send yourself an email or you can just save it somewhere safe so this way you will always have them by the way if you get my photoshop courses on the second part on the non-beginners part or if you took it as a package with the whole on the second part again you will find those photoshop brushes so you can just directly import and how to import when your brush is selected on anything on any file any layer you can just right click you can click this icon again and you can say just import brushes and you can go to folder you save your brush and you just say load and as you see here now 
there is a new group dream Bryce. so here they are and you can just use them whenever you want so now you can go grab some rims and put them in your sketches and save a lot of time or create your own brush pack and if you want to learn more details about photoshop from zero or from non-beginners level doesn't matter go to link in the description to learn directly from me and it's always nice to talk with you so you can write down in the comments what you want to see more or you can send me a message on instagram and i hope to see you on the next one bye